Welcome to Tangwei News, not today headlines. Review implementation of power grid process in Tangwei province. To improve quality of new dual construction. First, look at some data news. Recently, at Irish School, the final rounds of the inter school debate competition to Home Cups 2024 took place with the participation of primary and secondary school students from four schools Irish primary, secondary, and high school Taiwan's APT Kauzai's primary and secondary school Hanoi's, Pascal primary and secondary school Hanoi's, and Stephen Hawking's international primary and secondary school in Guangning. In the final round, the team gave solace and sharp arguments on practical topics such as is intelligence the most important factor to have children success in life, or should smartphones be allowed in class, and receive high application from the prestigious boards of examiner from Oxford's publishing house and e-home educational organization. Recently, the Job Fair 2024s organized by Universities of Science, Taiwan Universities, attracts the participation of nearly 40 businesses, employers inside and outside Taiwan province, and thousands of students, with a series of events, recruitment, interviews, careers consulting, job orientation, scholarships awards, and cooperation signing. The job fairs has created connection between businesses wishing to recruit personnel and students looking for jobs for opportunity. From 2021 up to now, the Universities of Science, Taiwan University, has signed cooperation agreement with 60 units and businesses to implement support and coordination activities in trainings and connecting labor, supplies and demand. On April 22nd, the Northern Electricity Corporation had a working session with the Industrial Test Center of Taiwan Province to evaluate and review the implementation of power grid projects in the province. The leaders of the department's branch and many directed agencies and units attended the working session. In the period 2023-2025, in Taiwan's province, there is 110 kilovolts power grid projects being constructed and prepared by the Northern Electric Cities Corporation with a total investment of 1,500 billion dollars and 25 grid projects of medium and low voltage electric city. As the meetings, through exchange and discussion to clarify existing problems, the Northern Electric City Corporation the industries and trade sectors and relevant department branches and localities of the province agree to resolve the overcome difficulties. It's difficult for power grid projects in the area to be completed and put into operation soon, providing power shorts to be served the local social economic development, close cleanliness and promote propaganda work to receive people's contests during the implementation of projects. To proactively implement the growth of serving the travel needs of the people, ensuring traffic order and safety during the upcoming holidays, the Department of Transport had directed journalists and businesses to arrange enough forces be proactive in vehicles, required journalists managing, maintaining, and exporting roads and inland waterways to strengthen solutions to ensure road and inland waterway traffic to flow safe and transparent. At the same time, the units well performs the management and regular maintenance of the provinces and national highways systems as prescribed, specialized force in place and reviewed additional traffic size system, intersection, high speed roads section, narrow curves, radius and limited visibility, strengthened organization force in sewer traffic and proper channeling guides vehicles to circulate safely and smoothly, ensure securities and orders on roads, key traffic hubs, tourist destination, and amusement area. 
bus station, dock change station, and construction sites often have congestion, take time, remedial measures when incidents or accidents occur. Determining the goal of striving to reach new drug destination in 2024, the party committee, government and people of all ethnic groups in full district are actively implementing many single solutions to soon realize the goal to accelerate the progress of completing the criteria for the new road district, from in focusing on investing in infrastructure, upgrading agricultural drug works, and making an important contribution to local social economic development. Recently, the construction's investment projects of repairing Kuklung Lake Fudels Commons invested by the management boss of investment projects for construction of agricultural and rural development projects have been handed over and put into operation. The project is nearly 3 hectares wide, including item flats, spillways, dam bodies, management roads, combined with residential roads, with a total investment cost of nearly $3 billion, to be constructed in 2023 and 2024. Complacent contribute to water retention at the lake ensuring production water supply for about 12 hectares of rice and 20 hectares of tea in Kuklung, Hamlet, Fudel's Commons and neighboring Hamlet, thereby improving productivity and increasing income for people. With these projects, people can develop economically, contributing to the successful construction of new rural area. In Fuliang areas, many lakes were built a long time ago and have now degraded. Water storage for production is not guaranteed. There are times without water for irrigation, affecting crop productivities. Therefore, investing in the construction and repairs of dams which have farmers be more productive in production due to guaranteed water source, promote agricultural economic development and improves the qualities of building new rural areas in the locality. This project has brought many benefits to the peoples. The peoples hope just all levels of government will pay attention to building more projects, lakes and dams to further perfect the criteria for building new rural areas. To this, Fudang District has 13 persistent communes meeting new rural standards, of which three communes meet models new rural standards. For the district's level criteria, Fudang achieves 3 per 9 criteria and 23 per 36 indicators according to the national criteria such for new rural district. The companionships of the states and the support and amenities of the peoples will have the districts reach the new rural destinations as planned. Vietnam Southern Company Limited has coordinated with the Cooperative Alliance of Taiwan Paris to organize the first Vietnam Cultural Culture Festival with many exciting and attractive activities. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and sneak time.